let me write down my times here so I can chop this thing up here in just a little bit. Um, NFC North, we're going to fire things off with the Chicago Bears. Went 8-8 eight eight last year. Matt Nagy in his third season. And who? Uh, win total is set at 8.5 to go over. 8.5 is plus 160. I think they're telling you something with that as well. Uh, to go under is minus 200. I mean, there is a chasm of difference between those two. To win the division, they are plus 500. And I'll give you a little little wink there. That is the worst odds at Bet Online. They've got the worst odds to win the division. So It doesn't surprise me. Uh, offensive yards per play last year. Uh, this is one of the teams that was even worse than the Steelers. Number 31 in yards per play, and, and it was rounded to 4.7, but it was a little below that. Um, defensive yards per play, however, they were number six, and they only gave up 5.1 yards per play. Turnover margin, number 17, they were dead equal. Right across the board, uh, you know, no gain, no negative, no nothing. And, you know, the camp rumors that Trubisky has actually looked pretty good, um, I, I don't know if that is – if that is the GM, you know, Ryan Pace, who we like to uh, crap on quite trying, a bit. Trying to save his job. Trying to save his job. But I, I, I will tell you this. They, they do have some weapons. You know, they, they bring in Jimmy Graham. They bring in uh, – they, they've got guys. You know, Alan Robinson, Hearns and Robinson. Alan Robinson's and, good. They, uh, uh, Anthony, Anthony Miller. Good. Yep. And, and oh, Montgomery is supposed to be healthy. You know, we'll see. Uh, obviously, yeah, I think he got carted off or something like that last week. So, we'll, But we'll see what happens with that. Um, they got weapons. They got guys. They shouldn't be as bad as they are on offense, especially with a guy that learned under Andy Reid, right? I This looks like a situation that Nick Foles was absolutely built for. And you bring in a guy that you owe $50 million to, I, you know, I think he's going to win the job. Like I, I, I think Trubisky is on the way out. And, you know, if you're the GM, it doesn't matter. Just make – if you start winning games, you're likely not going to get fired. Like, period. That's the way it goes. So, uh, for the defense, I think, obviously, we still love Khalil Mack, but he had the lowest sack rate that he has had since his rookie season last year. That's he only got eight and a half. he's ever had. And, and that is because uh, there was nowhere for him to have space, right? Yeah. Uh, they, they had injuries on that line. He couldn't get around. He was dealing with double teams basically all season. They bring in Robert Quinn. I think that's going to open things up a little bit for him. I think you will see an improvement on that eight and a half sack rate. Um, I think the defense will be a little bit better. I think Nick Foles will actually be improved in that offense. You know, however, I don't think it's going to show in uh, in their record. Like I, I think the other teams in this division are just as strong and whatnot as they are. Uh, I've got them seven and nine. I just I, I don't I don't like them enough to give them a winning record. I. I don't think they I, – I think they're going to be okay. I don't think they're going to be the dregs. No. I think the defense is still going to be good. I don't think anybody in this division is going to be the dregs. Yeah. So I, I think I, it's going to be a super competitive division. Exactly, which is why I've got them at 7-9. and nine. And So I, I, I don't like them to make the playoffs, but I do like them to be able to, uh, to ruin some team seasons. Yeah. So I've got them 9-7. and seven. I, I think they're going to be a little improved because Foles just has to be better than Trubisky. If Mitchell is the, the – the starting quarterback, I, I don't I don't have a lot of thought because I don't even know what to do with that. Okay. I don't know how you evaluate anybody if you've got two years of film on this guy and you think one weird ass training camp because of COVID is going to convince you that Mitchell is still the guy. Okay. I don't care how bad Foles is. It doesn't matter. He's not as bad as Mitchell Trubisky. Okay? Agree. That guy can't play. All right. So um I think they're going to be better. Roquan Smith is coming into his own. It's, he's going to be his third year leading that defense, and uh, and I think that's going to help open things up. Um, he's he's improved. Got to stay healthy, and and I think him and Mac are, are going to be just fine. I think that defense is going to be remarkably better than they were last year. Okay, but a lot of that is I'm trusting Foles to be the quarterback, them to not go three and out over and over and over again, and the the defense to not be on the field so much. So the difference of this team as opposed to the Steelers is, is they don't have the opportunity to play less defense. They have to play a lot of defense because they don't have a strong running game, even as good as Montgomery was. That they, they just didn't – the way they play offense, they don't run the football enough to control the clock, move the chains, and even if they don't score – to not just just to eat clock and let your defense get a rest. That's just not how they've been playing. 
and they got to figure that out if they can't move the ball. I think Foles can move the ball for them. I think they got enough weapons. I think they're going to be good, not great. Um, I I think the most important thing here is some somebody has to fire Ryan Pace. I don't know who that is, <laughs> but somebody I'll do it if they want somebody to do it. I'll you don't have to pay my room board. You have to fly. I'll get up to Chicago. I love the city. Listen, buy me a meal. I, I'll do it. There you go. What uh, what you got them going this year? Nine and seven. Nine I got and seven. Nine and seven. Okay. I got them over that. All right. That sounds uh, that sounds fair. That sounds fair. Uh, let me jump into these comments really quick because it is this is a hoot over here. We'll we'll say that. Uh, Matt Miller said Vikings and Ravens are winning these two divisions. Uh, Mark says purple people eaters. Uh, DFS Bachelor said I'll take the Steelers over nine. Loser pays for the first lap dance in Vegas, Chris. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking um, about. I don't go to strip clubs. And then <laughs> DFS said, this will be my funnest bet of the year, by the way. Um, Matt Miller said, uh, DFS, I think Chris would prefer Magic City and its magical wings. I think I'm not a wing guy. Have we talked about that yeah, on we, the show? I think we talked about it on the show before. I know we've definitely talked about it in our like group texts. Yeah. Uh, no, no you're, you're, you're more barbecue. You'd prefer. Well, just give me a leg. If I'm going to eat chicken, give me a leg. Give me a I, I want to get some meat. Uh, DFS said, I'm flexible as long as I have a shot to meet my next ex-wife. So <laughs> that is, uh, listen, Mark said, uh, we're uh, all day to day. Let's see. Mariota backing up four. Uh, Joseph Gomez said, how many weeks for Foles to be named the starter? Uh, that'll determine their record. And Matt Zero. Miller said, Ryan Pace is like that uh, hoarding grandma, but with tight ends. Yeah. That's uh, <laughs> I just you got that right. Hit him in the face. I'm not a violent person. I just want to hit him with a chair. And you're I not even a Bears fan. Ass. I like, just... I just want to. I just want to hurt him. I mean, you're you're not. I don't want to hurt him bad. It's I just insane. Want to hurt him? I I like this team, and I think what he's doing to this franchise is is criminal. Yes. Let's move into the next one. Go ahead. The Detroit Lions. 